Well, we mentioned Jade Miller with a goal in his 200th career ECHL game here tonight. Jade Miller now joins us live down at ice level. Well, Jader, overall, let's start from a team perspective. You guys continue to assert your dominance against this Rapid City Club. When you look at not only tonight's game, but the head-to-head -head season series as well, what has worked so well for you guys against this team? Man, I think we're just so familiar with, uh, with our game plan, with uh, kind of the way they play and, and what makes us successful. And just trying to um, duplicate that uh, night after night, obviously. Um, there were some times where, you know, we got we to gotta hunker down and uh, live to fight another shift. Obviously, they're fighting for their lives. Um, we knew that coming into this weekend, so we had to weather a few storms. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, we play our hockey. We're pretty comfortable. Uh, we're going to like the result. You talk about weathering a few storms. Looking at this game as a whole, you guys led 2-1 after the first, headed into the third period 5-3. Did you wave to the Zamboni driver there? I didn't. No. <laughs> Sorry, Riley. But the ebbs and flows of this game, it seemed like each team, whether it was you guys scoring, Rapid City scoring, each team had an answer here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, for us, we're going to look at, um, you know, how we answered. Um, we always talk about uh, shifts after goals for, shifts after goals against. And um, that's something we want to be really good, whether, uh, you know, we score that goal, we want to make sure we maintain that momentum and um, if, uh, if we give up a goal, we gotta we gotta be able to offset that push and uh, gain the momentum back. So uh, it's something we talked about in between periods tonight because obviously, like you said, the back and forth uh, we didn't necessarily love it. Uh, we loved the way we we competed and uh, kind of battled back after goals against. But uh, we want to clean up uh, some of our shifts maybe after uh, getting scored on. For you individually speaking, you get a goal here tonight in your 200th career ECHL game. You played in your 100th uh, Steelhead game uh, last. Saturday night in Utah. Just talk about the goal that you scored here this evening. Yeah, I mean, I uh, was out there with uh, Kyle Gucci and Rassel, and anybody who's watched any games this year know uh, good things can happen. Any any chance the puck's on their stick, and obviously Rodzinski and Kudlow were out there, and just tried uh, asserting myself, uh, you know, kind of where I feel like I belong, right on top of that blue paint. I um, feel like uh, I, can, I can give it to the defenseman pretty good as long as I got a good, good center of gravity there, and um, kind of just waited for for those guys to to do their thing and they were they were dancing all over the place and um when whenever Patrick Cudla has a puck on his stick you just make sure you're ready and kind of kind of pitched a tent there and um you know the old tripod move and started screaming for Patty and I mean when Patty sees you and he's he's got his eyes set on your stick uh all you got to do is make sure you get a piece of it. Yeah, he'll find you 11 out of 10 times. Lastly here, you had a chance to interview Mark Rassel earlier this morning. Rass finishes the game uh, with two goals and a helper. His first game back with the Steelheads since February 17th. How big of a boost is it for you guys to have a caliber of player like that back in the lineup here heading to the final games of the regular season and then obviously the playoffs coming up in just about two weeks? Honestly, it's invaluable. I mean, you can't really uh, put into words what he means to our team. Um, Obviously, the success he had in the American League, uh, he, he got that opportunity for a reason. And he proved uh, that he can play up there, and um, we were ecstatic to get him back, obviously. Um, but uh, what you see on the ice, he's an even better person. He's got a, he's got a great, uh, great personality, as most people know. His, his dry humor is, is awesome, and guys couldn't have been more happy for him to score that goal. We were kind of joking with him, are you going to score, Rask? Because he, he looked good his first couple shifts. Uh, the pucks always seems to find him. Yeah. And uh, you saw in that first goal of the night, I mean, there's not many guys that can uh, score a goal like that, but Mark Rassel's one of them. Well, Jader, we appreciate the time here tonight. Congratulations on the victory, and keep it rolling into tomorrow night. Yeah, thanks, Cam.